Peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion. As human beings, we need oxygen to survive. Oxygen helps organisms to grow, reproduce, and turn food into energy. As believers, we need Holy Spirit to survive, to strive, and to be empowered to fulfill the Great Commission that Jesus left for us. Without oxygen, humans will die. Without Holy Spirit, believers will die spiritually. The Bible declares in Romans 8 and 10, but if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. The Word of God to the people of God. Indeed, before Christ ascended, he declared to his disciples in Acts 1.8, but you will receive power. We are empowered by Holy Spirit to be his witnesses in the earth. Without this revelation and understanding, we are self-powered. We see in the book of Acts, which is also called Acts of the Apostles, showing live acts that they did after the outpouring of Holy Spirit. One of the evidence was a change in character, boldness. We see that demonstrated throughout the book of Acts through the disciples. We see the change in Peter who was sometimes offline in his speech, action, and stability. However, the baptism in the Holy Ghost influenced Peter in ways never seen. Peter preached with anointing, boldness, precision, and accuracy. 3,000 souls came to know the Lord. Never have we seen this happen before this time. All because of the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Today, as believers, we need boldness to speak. Boldness to declare the word of God. Boldness to declare truth with precision and accuracy. We need not to be proud, arrogant, self-centered, but rather we need to have humility and only Holy Spirit can help us with this. We need tenacity, persistence, firmness, and drive. This is no time to slack our ride, but rather we need steadfastness and only Holy Spirit can help us with this. Lastly, we need urgency, determination. We need to compel man to come to Christ now. We need to compel them to come today. The hour is late and only Holy Spirit can help us with evangelism. The power of Holy Spirit is available through obedience, prayer, Praying the word with anticipation while giving thanks, and God will respond. Believers everywhere, I encourage us to receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive Holy Spirit. He has been sent. He is here to be with us, to live inside of us, to empower us, to help us. And only he can do it. Otherwise, we'll be self-powered, defeated already, without hope. But with God, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Father, thank you for the promise. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for being accurate. Thank you, God, that you forever live to make intercession for us. And right now, you are doing it on our behalf. And you sent Holy Spirit to help us, to lead, to guide us, to unction us, to cause us to have wisdom beyond measure, direction, fortitude, and all that we need. We give you praise. We give you honor. 
we give you glory. We pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament. Keep them now and their families. May they seek after you and may they wait with anticipation in your presence for in filling, for baptism, for indeed enlightenment that only you can give. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere, for leaders everywhere today. We commend to you today. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised, honored, and glorified. This we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Let's go forth today. Baptized in Holy Ghost and fire. He wants us to be empowered. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.